I can just keep spending all day long. I'm not going to be careful about it, right? So if I keep buying things, it, things are going to get more and more expensive, right? And so this is what happens when you have closed environments, right? If it, every country has a different currency, right, and the, the, the value of what that currency means to people is tied to how much money is in that country, right? How much money the government actually prints. The type of government Yeah, the type of government becomes incredibly important, exactly. right? And so, in the, we see in Venezuela, we signed Brazil 15 years ago, money became utterly worthless, right? They had literally, every day, they had a person in each store whose job it was to increase the price of things. So they would go to every article in the store, and they'd say, oh, it was worth $2 today, now it's two fifty. And tomorrow, you knew that it was worth $3. And the day after, it was three fifty. And you know that every single day, your money, your money become, became worthless. What do you think happened? Inflation. Inflation, right? But people became the entire structure of how people shopped changed. They made new kind right? of money. They sorry. They created new kind of money. So someone brilliant said, "We got to stop it, right? Because it was insane." And so they tried to fix it in a bunch of different ways, and nothing worked until two brilliant economists said, well, what is money really, right? Instead of trying to fix printing less, they tried printing less paper, but the perception of people hadn't changed. And so people still behave the same way. Their perception of what money was and how it was going to change in the future was still ingrained in their head, right? And so what they actually had to do was trick people. They had to physically invent different schemes to trick people into thinking differently so that they could maintain the level of the currency, right? So what they did is they created a brand new currency that was tied to the US dollar, right? Mm -hmm. And so they knew, people knew that, okay, that currency, they knew that price. So if I'm gonna go to a loaf, to buy a loaf of bread, right? And what they did was they made a law that said every price has to be both in the local currency and in this new national currency, right? And so everybody had to go and say, okay, loaf of bread, it's 350 in the local currency today, but it's one new payout. They called it the payout, right? And then the day after, people would go to the store and say, oh, now the bread is 450 in my local currency, but it's still one in this new currency. And this kept going on for a long time. So the local currency kept changing, but this, this new national currency kept having the same value, right? So what happened? The perception of people changed, right? It, instead of going to the store and saying, I need 650 real in order to buy a loaf of bread today, they said, well, no, I know that's just, it's just one, one new dollar, right? And a new dollar, right? So the perception of people went from looking at this always increasing weird currency that they had to a sort of a stable, normal currency that price weren't changing. It's a lot easier for people, right? And so they actually just started thinking, oh, I'm going to buy everything in this new currency. It's stable, it's normal, it's the same every day, it doesn't change. And then what they actually did is they just got rid of the old currency and used the normal one. So physically, they didn't change anything with the, with the papers. They didn't change in how they printed it. They didn't change it. All they changed was the perception that people had as to how money was being used. Right? Isn't that incredible? It's, it's crazy, right? 